Hello there and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jack Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another fun and cool tutorial. This one ties in with the Perdido Spar. This is the Flame Tutorial. So this is specifically for the Perdido Spar. I will try to give a few tips and tricks on how to build uh, other flames in Minecraft, but this is specifically going to be built step by step for what you see out there in the distance. So this is what I have down here on the ground. I am running shaders at the moment, and for those that will ask, it is Zeus uh, shaders. And uh, this is what it looks like. This is where it looks the best. This is where everything kind of stands out. Uh, if you don't have shaders, it still looks all right, and we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Um, but if you want to run it, uh, just like I have it, this is what it should look like. All right, let's look at some materials. All right, this is what the flame looks like. Again, without the shaders, it should be pretty obvious. Um, it's all made out of wool, or you can make it out of clay, uh, whatever you want. Uh, yellow, orange, red. Uh, I've got glowstone in there, obviously, for the glowing, for the lighting effect, and then gray wool for the smoke. Uh, you can substitute that for some white pieces or some light gray pieces, depending on the intensity of the flame. One of my earlier attempts at an organic build, I think it turned out pretty good. It took me probably about an hour to build. Um, if I spent three or four or five more hours in this, uh, I would obviously make the, uh, the smoke trail off a lot further, and I would make the flames probably a lot bigger, um, just in comparison to uh, the build itself. Uh, so some tips that I would go ahead and throw out there for flame building in Minecraft, it's organic. Uh, flames aren't meant to look very specific, uh, you know, like the spar or like a crane or something like that. Take your time, and the more random it is, the better it will look. Uh, start off with a lot of curves going up. Um, right up the middle, just take one, uh, one or two big streamers going up and get the shape uh, or the length of how long you want the flame, and then just start putting down your base colors. Again, very, very randomly staying close to the middle uh, piece that you lay out or the, uh, the middle pattern. Uh, start alternating your blocks. Start with like a, like a yellow or an orange for your base. And, uh, and, and get something down the middle and then start spreading out and throwing in some random pieces of red. And then your glowstone will be last. You can go back out. Once you get the flame how you like it, uh, you can go back and then uh, just chew out some pieces and throw in some lighting, throw on your shaders, take a look at it. Uh, and, and nighttime, obviously, is the best to uh, throw the pieces in and take a look at it and see what it looks like and then just move the blocks around until it looks how you, you have in your mind pictured. And then, obviously, the black is, uh, is your smoke. And uh, you can just start, again, replacing blocks on the inside uh, and on the outside. <laughs> just, I mean, it's, it sounds simple, it does, but a lot of people are just, um, they just can't do it. Um, I'm not an expert by any means, uh, but I do, I do think this turned out really good, and I've got a lot of really great compliments on this particular flame. So that's why we're doing a tutorial on it. Um, but I thought I would take the extra time to go ahead and give some pointers and tips on how I came up with it and, uh, and how you can come up with your own flame design. Um, one other thing to kind of keep in mind, I guess, to keep it realistic, is wind direction. Um, if the wind, you know, obviously is going, you know, from this way to that way, you know, figure out which way you want the flame to go. Um, if there's limited wind and you want your flames to go straight up, um, then that's fine too. But keep in mind your wind direction. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is I'm going to drop this down layer by layer with World Edit. And I'm going to fly around and show you where it connects in. And you can obviously see what colors they are. And I will use pink for spacing. So like that, I'll throw in three real quick just so you can see. I'll cut down on the commentary and only talk where I have to. And pause the video where you need to. Uh, ours turned out a little bit different uh, than, than mine. So the spacing around this piece right here may be a little bit different. But what you want to do is you're going to want to start right here on this white block. And then underneath, you're going to have one block spacing and then four uh, gray. And then you're going to move up by one. And this, this is going to be considered layer one. All right, this is the next layer. And ours, will again, connects in just a little bit weird. What we're looking for are these gray blocks right here. Is, uh, is going to be your reference point for the build. And then every block above here going up. So there is the next layer. All right, next layer moved down. Again, we're right up on top of this orange block. That's where the gray one goes. Kind of fill in behind where it needs to with some yellow uh, blocks, some glowstone, whatever. This is the next pattern. And again, I'll try to fly around as much as I can. Stop the video where you need to. All right, this is the next layer here. Again, on top of that pink block that was 
on top of the orange there's your glowstone for your reference block and then just build out from that all right again there's your glowstone on the last layer go up by one and here's your gray block use that for your reference block All right, your next layer is this yellow block here is your reference block on top of that gray block. All right, there again, there's your next reference block here. Skip one and then build this. All right, here's your next one. There was your last reference box. Go up and over by one and throw it on your yellow one here. All right, there's your next reference block right here, this yellow one. Skip a space. And there's just a one block gap right there two block gap right here between these. There's your center line. Three or two block gap here. All right, there's your next reference block right here. And this is just out by one and back by one. All right, there's your next reference block, two blocks forward of the one underneath. And then I threw in some pink blocks here just for more reference. And there's two blocks going over to this one. There's your center line right here. And this is the block underneath, of course. All right, there's your next reference block. So up diagonal by one. This is out by two. There's two blocks right here. All right, this little cluster here. One, two, three to those. And then out diagonal and up one. And then across. There's one block gap right there. Obviously, there's one here. There's your center line. One, two, three. One, two over to this one, or you can come off the middle. All right, your next one, again, is up diagonal by one. Off this red one. Off that one. It's one yellow block right there. This gray, these gray blocks are off your center line. One, two, three put one skip one and your yellow ones here there's just a one one block gap in between those there's your next reference block right here
Again, two blocks forward to this one, one to that one, three, and then over to this one here, to the three yellows. There's your center line. This one here is one, two, three into this gap, or three off of this, or two off of that yellow. All right, next reference block is your gray one. And off this yellow, one, two, three, four, five, six, to this gray block, yellow, and then skip a space to this yellow one here. And back to this gray and yellow. This one here is just up and forward by one and over by one, and it's one block off the center line going that way. This block out here, if you find that little pattern underneath, just go up one or just put one right on top of that one. Next reference block is yellow on top of that gray block. Then this just comes out by two. And of course, one block there. And this is one, two, three, one off of the center line, which is one, two, three, four, five on the sixth block, or just above this yellow one right there. All right, here's your next reference block, this yellow one. So it's two blocks in, in front of the last yellow one that you used for the reference block. And I've got a block hanging out here, so go back two and over one. I'll try to get a little closer in here because there's more holes in this level here. All right, above these three right here, that's where these gray and the yellow ones go, just off the center line. And these two blocks are just floating out back by two. All right, next reference block is this dark gray one right here. Just run straight forward, skip one block right there, and then put those. Come back. There's two spaces right there to that one, and that one's on the layer underneath. Go forward by one. There's two block gap there. Two block gap here. Same thing here. blocks there. Alright, next reference block is this yellow one here. So go straight down the middle, skipping one block a piece, and then go to this. It's a small layer, there's not much to this one here. Random block out here by itself over this uh, little six pack of blocks and then a yellow block just forward of that and then on top of these over here find this glowstone and then just make this L pattern here and then just mirror on the other side and then two blocks out for a random piece of yellow again just off the center line find these two yellow ones here underneath and put that one and then a gray one here and then we've got two right back here off of that block all right, reference block right here, just in front of that one, and up by one. And then out one, two, three, four to this gray block. Go forward four, skip two, put this yellow one, and go one, two, three out to this one. 
and then of course forward by one, one, and then two. And then this little cluster banger here, two yellows, a gray, and a red. And then off the front, find that yellow one right here underneath, that little L pattern you made on the last level. Go up one, forward, skip two, and then you have another random yellow one. All right, over here on this side, off this red one, one, two, to the left. One block gap there, I didn't hit it. <laughs> And then one over here, one, two, three, four, five, and then back by one. All right, they're getting smaller. Next reference block is right here over this gap. There's three yellow ones. Skip one yellow one, glowstone, go over by two, and put these three pieces in that one. All right, up here on the forward piece, those two pieces with the glowstone right on top of that. Just going to build this. Pretty easy layer. All right, next one. There's your three blocks from underneath. This is your reference block right here. So go back one, two, three, four, five, and put a random yellow one. And you're going to go forward by two and put a yellow one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just build these two pieces right there. Go out one, two, three, four. Four by one, there's a random piece of gray. One, two, there's two yellow and then a gray. All right, you've got some random blocks back here. So off of that one, go back one, skip two and put one. And it should be just up one and forward of this one that you put all by itself. All right, you got two blocks right here and then a piece of glowstone. And then now from the glowstone, three pieces to the gray, two pieces to the yellow, and then the gray. And then you've got two pieces right here, this gray piece here, whoops, that one and that one. All right, next section. Reference block is right here above that glowstone. There's three yellow. Go back one, two, three, four, and put two. Above this one here, go over two, and then forward three. To this a random gray piece or go forward three and over one whichever is easiest three blocks forward to a piece of glowstone put these two L patterns and then go forward yellow skip two and put a yellow next little section is right up here on top of these two L pieces that you did put a yellow piece there and then two bigger L's and then one more block right here and that finishes the flame yep that's it i'm empty <laughs> all right guys again that is the flame tutorial that is the best that i could do uh that would be the quickest and give you the most reference shots to uh to get this the best that you can get it and uh good luck with it have fun like always i appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later